Hey YouTube and buddies, what's up everybody, guys and girls. What we are looking at is a fully developed front end React application. Okay. So I will demo to you this full React application. First of all, you can see here there is a logo. We can make it more beautiful. So you click at the logo, it goes to the home screen. Currently, I am serving at my local computer, which is localhost 3000 React application. So if we click home, of course, it's in home only. Then we go to our menu. You can see lots of food menus here. There's a plus sign here, which if we click, will go to the selection. And then remember that this is a very commercial website. I am developing for my client and hence if you follow me you can learn and become a full-fledged full-stack web developer so I am planning to use Laravel as my backend if I click contact us is still going to the contact us and if I click contact of course you can see here just to show you anchoring right this is called anchoring in react then our menu i click again anchoring it comes to the menu and finally if you click here it goes to the top and it's not visible here when it clicks here it goes to the top after some time it comes up this arrow button right now it's not there because we are at the top already so that is scrolling to the top how to do in react and finally, this is my website because I am the designer and all the full stack developer. This is my website, Penang Web Developer. You can take a look at it also. Now, I am going to offer courses for full stack web development. I will be giving you some sample programs or sample sessions of this website. So you see you like it or not and then you can contact me for full stack development i'm going to segregate it into front end and back end front end will be react js back end will be laravel so you can choose if you want to have a front end session or a back end session it will be a zoom or google meet direct personal class and then you can whatsapp to me I'll show you my WhatsApp number as well as email ID. You can contact me there. And after that, we will take it further down how to adjust with your timings. Maybe you are in other part of the world. I am in Penang, Malaysia currently. So maybe you are in other part of the world. We will adjust for your timings and your convenience. We will explore the best possible chances to meet up. Okay. And even if you are in industry, you are in bottleneck or something with some react or laravel or any type of issues i can do in python django flask many type of stacks i know so if you have any issues you just contact me we will have a one-to-one -one session and a small training which will leverage up your skills okay so now we are going to demo further this website first of all how does this website come into picture react as you know is a front end framework or library as we call it we had to fit up a template into react js that is the first thing i am going to demo to you freely here in youtube so you see you like my video and you can understand it if you are at it of course you can Show your interest through my Facebook or WhatsApp or email. You can contact me for one-to-one -one sessions, okay? So, let's go into deep down further on this website. So, first thing, as I told you, we have to fit this framework. I mean, React framework working with the template. So, how to fit a template or a bootstrap template or a Tailwind CSS template into React.js. That is the first challenge we had to clear. Once we clear that the template is working, of course, we will 
break it down into pieces, what to do, everything, okay? So let us click this menu. Okay, you can see here, push button to open up choices. So I push the button. You can see this flying circular button is coming in. You click anywhere, it's gone out. You click again, it's coming in. And then if you click any particular button, it will take you to that portion. This is primarily a food delivery web application. So drinks, MBM, this is my client's brand name. So MBM, breakfast, lunch, dinner, promo. So remember guys, I'm explaining to you a full commercial application. This is not simply a demo application. This is a commercial application, which will definitely add feathers to your resume or portfolio when you seek jobs or you want to jump jobs or you want to get any promotions or you want to make your bosses happy to show your skills on react.js as well as the back end or a full stack web developer okay so you click outside anywhere here also it's flying out so that is the beauty of this i hope this is a very nice animation which you are seeing okay so now we will look at breakfast okay we look at breakfast so the cart should be free now there's nothing there you go to shop again you land to here and then you click here breakfast right breakfast okay so this is just a dummy picture and then the reviews are all just dummy sitting there right but the important fact is we are going to study react here so plum juice let's choose plum juice once you choose plum juice you can see it comes to plum juice so you add to cart right so you add to cart so once you add to cart the price is showing so here once we are in shopping cart let me explain to you i'm going to add we add quantities can you see the price go up here we decrement quantities price is going down and we delete totally it is becoming zero so shop again let's go to breakfast again let me order pineapple juice first add to cart shop again breakfast again i want to order orange juice add to cart okay two items have there i add then i think i reduce okay i reduce so you can see is three and two now i'm going to order orange juice again in breakfast let's see what happens breakfast orange juice click orange juice add to cart you see did the orange juice come again no because it's already there that's we call filtering the filtering happens in our redux reducer so we are going to learn a lot of state controls and mechanisms using redux which is a very good library for react which is a very good supporting library for react it is a state management tool a wonderful tool as per my opinion and we are going to learn redux how to proceed with redux how to manage all these states these are all states guys so for example, control shift I, I have the state management tool Redux here, right? So let me bring it down a little bit and you can see all the states here, you see, I delete, some states are gone, right? Something changes here. So that is how the state management is happening. Okay. Then we have an interesting portion here which is very important to study react to the understand the fundamentals of react okay if you go to the mvm the condition here is that you have to choose item a or item b i like this animation very much it's a flying button i will teach you down the road how to make it right so let me choose item b if i choose item b okay i am at item b now from a or b i must choose one so let me choose this strawberry jam. Now you can see it's going to C. So that means from A and B, you had to choose one item, which I already chosen. 
now c is a compulsory portion to be chosen okay so let us choose lime juice and once we choose there is an optional choice between d and e so what happens you can choose d or e either of d or e you see if i choose e it comes to e if, it, if i choose e it comes to d right so so let me choose sweet ladus okay so you can see strawberry jam lime juice sweet ladus these were my choices right so i add it so you can see it was added already right and then i shop again i will go to breakfast item plum juice i add it you see here for here mvm or the brand name of my client you can see strawberry jam lime juice and sweet ladus were selected you can increase the quantities as well but for plum juice which was a breakfast right it is single quantity so both are accommodated in the same cart that is the most important step you need to understand how to manage arrays with react js that is another point you need to know so let's say i delete this it's gone right then again i come to mbm item a i choose cherry plum right plum juice and finally donut towels so add to cart it added here right so one more thing is i go on adding okay four pieces the numbers the prices go up as a total total number of items is seven correct or not four plus three is seven right so i go down let's see i go down to one can i go down to zero or minus no see it stops there that is another important point which we will study down the line to clamp it to one and then it, you can delete only if you don't want it so it becomes three items if you can delete it again it becomes zero items and then the price is zero of course here again another point i wanted to show you is that let's see home home got how many menus home our menu contact why our menu is here because we are able to see the menu from here but what if i go to cart there is no our menu here right there is contact us of course on the footer so if i click contact i can go to the contact us but our menu is not there so how do you select selectively choose headers that is another most important thing we need to study in react so home you see home our menu but when I, when i go to the cart right i don't see our menu so how did i do that that is another important point we need to see of course there are many ways to do it but i did the simplest way i hope maybe you have another good way more better than me never mind that's good but the longer way which i think is to add in state management for this particular menu and then inject it into redux and then distribute it everywhere we go for example i go to the shop again i am at food display right so here also there is no our menu available so all these pages or sub pages need to gather information from the redux tool to see they need to display our menu or not that i think it is a long route so i have come up with a more easy way or a more realistic way i will explain to you when i go into the coding portion using different display of headers for different components okay nowadays we are all using functional component we are not using class based components in react but of course react accepts class based and functional components sometimes we may need to copy something from the github which is class based components that also i can show you i think i have done one or two from github copy so that uh, we will be able to understand class based components as well how to integrate it with the main functional components okay that is another thing we will study down the pipeline so if you like my explanation let us pass over to how to fit 
a template, a bootstrap template into this particular React framework or front end framework we are going to study later. Meanwhile, if I do like this, right, this is called mobile mode or whatever. You can see it's a bootstrap framework. Everything is available. It's so beautiful, right? So how to do it all, I am going to explain to you in one-to-one -one sessions if you choose to study React and if you want backend, which is Laravel with me, to become a full stack professional engineer or a pro, be a pro with me, be a pro with Penang teams, be a pro with Raj Kumar. So you can understand all these things, right? You can see here, it's a smooth, nice animation, right? You click out, contact us. Yes, you go there, it's gone. You can go up by clicking this one, click this one, home, you are still at home, cart, you are at cart, right? The cart, everything is aligned nicely, okay? We won't be much touching the CSS portion. Even in my one-to-one -one session, as well as the full stack or front end, back end, as you choose, because I have seen many of the YouTubers or teachers teaching here, they immerse into CSS and then the interest in React or Laravel is lost because of the CSS. So CSS, of course, I will explain to you. You will get it from my GitHub posting libraries and all, but we will just focus on the core portions, which is React and Laravel, okay? So home, contact, right? Everything is back in action. So this is a slider, you see, a slider. So everything is working fine, well and good. So take care, guys. Please come back to my channel, subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press the bell button, everything, okay? So that you'll get timely updates. And I will demo to you how to fit in a template into React.js framework in my next episode. From then on, if you like it, please contact me by WhatsApp. Remember, this is not my WhatsApp. This is my customer's WhatsApp. So you can WhatsApp me in my direct WhatsApp. You can contact me by Facebook. You can also contact me by email. I will leave you in the description section my social media contact details, okay? So don't worry about that. Have a good time. Enjoy your videos, enjoy your studies, be a pro in everything. Wish you all success, be successful with me as well. Thank you very much for watching the video. Bye-bye.